What's up guys, welcome back to another episode here in Turkey, Istanbul. However, in the next few minutes, we're gonna be over in Asia. And that is because... Turkey is one of those rare countries that is actually laid on two continents. The northwest part of Turkey, a little part is in Europe, and the rest of the country is in Asia. So we're super excited to head over to the Asia side. We've heard it's a really nice vibe down there, and we're looking forward to explore it. Yeah, let's go guys, and let's do this. ticket to get onto the boat which costs 40 lira which is roughly not sure exactly but I'll leave it just here so you guys know as well um, however first stop is you stop off at another one of the piers just before heading there to pick up some more people and then you make your journey all the way over to the Asian side We have officially made it into Asia. Well, they still speak the same language here, so we're definitely still in Turkey. We're now going to head over to a breakfast spot. Apparently, it's really, really nice and uh, get some energy levels back up, eh? Yeah, um, the cafe is called Kuf and it's in the other Gemeni, which is quite popular street for street art. So let's see. where we're going guys um, I'm guessing one of the best ways to get around Turkey in general so far for us has been walking because taxis have been quite difficult everywhere we've gone they always ask you where you're going and then they end up trying to charge you like double the actual price or they'll just decline your offer and it takes a very very long time to actually find a taxi that will take you to exactly where you want so best option walk um, you know everywhere you go is quite picturesque it's very busy so an hour will feel like probably half an hour overall the reason why they call it the Asian side is because that half of Istanbul is on the Asian mainland, east of Bosporus. So guys, we are now walking up the streets and it's a very, very much more chilled out than Istanbul. It's still got those high hills that we're walking up right now, but it just feels like a more relaxed vibe. Everyone told us before coming here that it will be a little bit more chilled out and relaxed. It is really nice. I feel already relaxed like I haven't been in a whole week. <laughs> yeah. If you guys haven't watched um, some of the other Turkey videos here in the series, I'd recommend going to check those out after this video, just so you can see what that vibe was like as well. Oh, God, it's quite a bit of a fitness journey, this one. Yeah, you need to be quite fit to be doing all the walks that we've been doing. Yeah, guys, make sure you're wearing comfortable trainers. Guys, we've just made it to our spot here, which is called Kuf. We've been recommended to come here, have some food and breakfast. So, we finally made it to our cat guys, and uh, as always, we always have to you know, grab a nice coffee and some breakfast. 
1 p.m. so we're probably gonna have some brunch. So guys, one of the first things I realized once we've come over to this side are the prices for food. So over in uh, the European side, it was for two coffees, we paid the same price of how much it is for one meal here. So just to give you an idea of the prices for food, so for example, I'll talk you through some of the breakfast options. So breakfast for two right here is saying 240 Turkish Lira, which is roughly 11 pounds. I'll just show you that. So if you want your own breakfast, like they call it a street breakfast here, that costs 72 Lira, which is three pounds 42 which is roughly around five US dollars. And to be honest, that is really, really affordable. So I ordered a fresh fruit juice, which is a red beetroot, carrot, and ginger. All of that for 40 lira, which cost one pound 90. So guys, that Turkish breakfast or the street breakfast is 70 something lira, which is roughly uh, one pound 90, which is around three dollars. So, so, so affordable. Okay guys, so for all of that food, it came to 195 lira. We had so much food and you wouldn't guess how much that cost. That is nine pounds and 26p. That's what you call value for money, guys. We had so much food. Um, one thing you will not be disappointed with here in Turkey is their bakeries. There are so many bakeries here in Turkey and this place is no exception. Look at these bad boys. So basically it means guys if you're on a diet and you're coming to Turkey, throw that diet out the window. So as you're walking through this gorgeous, gorgeous street here, you just basically have so many different cafes where you can just take a seat, relax, have a coffee, bring your laptop. And as I said earlier in this video, I said that it seems like a lot of digital nomads are here. This definitely seems like the case more on this side than it does on the Western side, or sorry, the European side of Istanbul. And I think it probably makes sense because this side is definitely more affordable. So it makes sense why the digital nomad community will decide to stay more on this side. Kadıköy and Üsküdar are the most historical parts of this side of Istanbul. Both cities were founded about 30-40 years earlier than Istanbul itself and only incorporated into the city of Istanbul in the late 19th century. Today Kadıköy and Üsküdar are mainly commercial zones. The rest of this part of the city mainly consists of suburbs full of quiet high-rise apartment blocks most of which date back no more than 30 years. What do you think of this part of Istanbul so far, the Asian side? I definitely prefer it here more, yeah. um, because it seems to be more YB, more chilled, and to be honest, this is the first time I feel relaxed yeah. in the nine days that we've been here. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the, the, uh, the main uh, city is just so, so busy. Um, it's really, really nice to just enjoy this type of uh, atmosphere. Yeah. The other side is just way too crazy. Yeah. It just never stops. This area that we're walking in seems like it has quite a few markets, the more cheaper end shops. You've got them selling kind of a lot of women's clothing here in Turkey, um, but all for very, very cheap. So if you're a lady and you're watching this video, come and grab yourself some cheap um, ladies clothing, which costs about three euros for tops and trousers. guys we're now walking through a little bit more of a busy side of this uh, Asia side of Istanbul um, it's got loads of restaurants cafes basically that's what you're gonna find everywhere here there's restaurants and cafes but very nice ones yeah it's a nice vibe uh, we are in an area called Kadikoy and we are about to explore two mo most popular streets which is one of them now we are walking to now called Baharia guys we are now heading over to Moda Tea House 
gonna have a little refreshment and a little break from the little hustle and bustle early in the markets and this area here is actually right next to the seaside which is really really beautiful all right guys after a super hot walk around the uh the town shall i say we've now come to this gorgeous place where we're gonna have a seat and enjoy the beautiful view here of the ocean and have like a drink or something to cool us down oh thank you not? and we get a tea as soon as we sit down thank you very much so we're just sitting down relaxing enjoying this view and this little guy he's just come to have a little nap on my lap this is what you love about turkey guys cute right oh i'm gonna call him little ventures he's come to sleep so just enjoying sitting down uh, finished one chai here and um, this is what i recommend doing if you come to the Asia side of Istanbul. You can do all the hustle and bustle, go to the market areas, there's a lot of shopping, there's a lot of coffee shops. However, I highly recommend coming to this area here, which is called Moda, is the area. I'll also leave the details below so you can come for yourself with the location, but it's really nice because it does get quite hot here. But And then you have a beautiful view of the sea just right in front of you. And if you're lucky enough, you'll also have this little guy that will come to visit you just enjoying himself giving himself a little clean and then we have a friend joining us shortly uh, we're gonna have some dinner with her which is a, a friend of Dace's and um, probably find somewhere very nice to enjoy sunset oh, that's it guys a nice relaxing chill out spot with watching that beautiful sea and having the cat as company I think I can truly say I'm feeling a little bit more re-energized now Guys, this area here is called Moda and you can kind of feel a different vibe already even though this is still Istanbul and is the Asian side however each different section we've been into in um, the Asian side has felt very different if you would have seen the first part was kind of the arty area Moda is uh, um, voted as one of the 50 best neighborhoods to live in by timeout so oh, there, you go. Well, there you go guys well let's uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that in the comments Now guys, this is why it's really, really difficult to be on a diet here in Turkey because everywhere you go, they've got these incredible looking cakes. Like, wow, look at these, wow, they're absolutely incredible. And uh, we've tasted quite a few of these and they're so, so good, guys. So, diet out the window. This is what I mean by this area, guys. As you're walking, you are covered by all these incredible bars here. Everyone just enjoying themselves. And today is actually a Friday, so everyone's getting ready for their Friday evenings here at the bars and restaurants. Just relaxed vibe. And actually, to give you an idea of the type of age range here, it's definitely more of the uh, mid-range, so you've got a good crowd here if you're looking to have a good night out. Guys, we're just gonna go and meet our friend now and have some dinner at a restaurant called Sierra Sati or something along those lines. Apparently it's a nice spot. Dace's friend has recommended us and uh, we're gonna have some nice dinner in this really, really busy and vibrant, vibrant area. It is just so lively. Well, it probably helps that it's a Friday night. So yeah, yeah loving it. Look at all these people around guys. It's so, so busy. now at the restaurant and our waiter has found us a great table for us to enjoy a nice dinner here very very lively very loud but just how we like it nice and upbeat and gave us a great table all right guys this is Naveen which is a good friend of Daisy's she's joining us for some dinner now and we're just gonna have some nice Turkish cuisine and enjoy a nice dinner okay guys so this spot that we've come to have got all different types of kebabs literally let me show you so they've got cheese kebabs they've got mixed kebab 
and even liver kebabs. And the prices seem very, very reasonable. And that's again one thing I'm loving on the Asian side of Istanbul is there's such a contrast from the uh, the main the European side, so I say, and also the Asian side. So I think I might go for a liver kebab. starters which is some baba ganoush basically essentially what that is is a bit of aubergine with some tomatoes shredded up inside just there and we've got some fresh naan there to go guys our fancy kebabs has officially arrived so mine is a minced uh, lamb with some spices and chili inside and the ladies have got Basically a mix of lamb and beef, is that right? Lamb and beef, yeah. Lamb and beef with some aubergine underneath. Wow. Aubergine and yogurt and wow, garlic. Wow, look at that. Time to dig in, guys. Alright guys, so the food is officially finished now and honestly, you've got to love this place because all of that food that you saw came to 475 lira, which is 26 US dollars. Three people. For three people. One, two, and uh, three. So, not bad, guys. And the food was absolutely delicious. What did you guys think? Loved it. Enjoy absolutely. it. One of my favorite meals, actually. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. I just swallowed it all. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got the kindest uh, guy serving us as well. Thank you. So, guys, we are probably going to head over now to grab a ice cream or some type of dessert. And it's 10 past 7 now, so we're probably going to run over to the park because apparently the sunset on the Asian side of Istanbul is really, really beautiful. So, we're just paying for our bill now and we're going to head over there. Hustle and bustle area again and we're walking through to probably find a dessert now and we are running after the sunset because it's setting in 15 minutes from now so we just gotta go make that but I just love the vibe of this area after a lovely lovely meal you walk through this town and the vibe is everywhere and honestly guys I'm starting to fall in love with the Asian side of Istanbul if you are coming here I would highly recommend spending more than one day because what most people do when they come to Istanbul is just come here for one day but I highly recommend probably even booking a hotel here for at least two three days because it's a great great vibe all right guys we have found a ice cream spot on the way to our sunset and this place looks really nice we've got some fresh ice creams here with the ladies um, what are we getting guys um, I don't know if any of them are. <laughs> wow. Ah, they're all in Turkish. What flavour is this one in the So guys, everything is in Turkish here, obviously because we're in Turkey. However, we're using the Google Translate as a picture translation thing. So we're just putting that up against the words. It works a treat. Oh, a melon, melon. Oh, melon. Right, you can try it. Wow. Guys, 15 lira for this incredible chocolate and orange. What's that, 50p? Mm, 50p. It's about 75p. 75p. Uh, so you just guys, under amazing. one US dollar. Thank, Thank you guys. Yeah. Bye, see you. We'll come back for one more. We're coming back for more. <laughs> <laughs> wow, tastes so, so good, guys. If you've ever had Terry's chocolate orange, you'll know exactly what this tastes like. So, so good. All right, guys, and we finally made it to our sunset spot, which is here in this beautiful, beautiful park. Fortunately, it's a bit cloudy. However, it's still really, really chilled out to come here and just sit on these rocks and enjoy a beautiful sunset to finish off your day here in the beautiful Asian side of Istanbul just like that guys absolutely lovely and you've got everyone around here as well just enjoying the sunset relaxing couples friends and it's just such such a lovely vibe here oh, 
highly recommend to make sure you finish off your Asia side by coming to the park and enjoying the sunset. And I think guys, this is where I'm gonna end today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you all on the next adventure. Peace out.